Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh is right. I love strawberries. They're delicious, sweet, juicy, nutritious. But the problem is, as soon as they touch the ground, the bugs and insects go crazy wild for them too. Today, I'm going to show you one solution I have to keep your strawberries off the ground and away from the little buggers. Welcome back to Blossom Hill Microgreens where we discuss microgreens as well as other gardening tips to help you have a more successful growing season. Today uh, we're going to uh, discuss how to improve your strawberry harvest. If you're growing strawberries uh, this year or if you're thinking about it, you know, please let me know in the comments, uh, especially how they've been starting. Mine have been off to a really good start, um, but because we're growing so many strawberries and they're starting to touch the ground, it's important that we lift them off the ground so that way the insects and bugs aren't able to get to them. Um, there are uh, several different options that you can use and um, we're gonna show you a few of them today. So at this stage, while they're young and not bearing fruit, I'm just keeping an eye on the leaves to see if they're having any pest issues. Um, but as they grow larger and they start bearing fruit, then I want to elevate those fruit as shown here. Um, these plastic cups are easy uh, to find just at any hardware store. I cut out the bottoms. Um, I think they're utilized for, you know, like painting and those type of activities. Um, and then, you know, as it gets larger again, I found a little sturdier um, structure. These were uh, Easter baskets that you could get for hardly anything after Easter. Just cut out the bottom. And again, um, they do a good job of providing some support. Taking it off, you'll see just how large this strawberry plant is. And underneath all those leaves is, you know, a real bevy of strawberries. Um, but of course, as you can see, without the support, I mean, they would naturally be on the ground and naturally pretty much all eaten. Um, so at this point, I am going through um, the strawberry plant to just clean up um, any rotten uh, strawberries, uh, any other dead uh, branches or leaves at the bottom, uh, because I want to make sure that it is clean as possible when I'm putting on this new structure that I'm creating for the strawberries today. And look, I, even in here, there's one that happened to uh, get uh, a bite taken out of it, so I'll just yank that out. Now you can see the PVC structure uh, that I've created for my strawberry plants. Uh, if you'd like a more in-depth step-by-step look of how to use PVC, I did create a video uh, for a pumpkin trellis, and you can see the video uh, highlighted above. Uh, so I'm wrapping uh, the uh, structure around the plant, and I've got the other corner uh, set aside here, and I just think it's, it's easier to complete it while uh, you're actually putting it around the plant, um, as opposed to trying to and pull everything through. You know, you can easily lose some strawberries because some of them are, you know, held tenderly onto the stems. So at this point, pushing it together uh, to make sure that uh, all of the uh, pipes are uh, securely in their fittings. Um, and I begin to just put the final uh, few leaves uh, that are underneath up through um, the structure um, so that way everything that needs to be elevated is so. A couple of benefits that I really love about this uh, cage uh, beyond it you know being easy and uh, cheap to make and holding up the tomatoes is it also provides really good aeration. One disadvantage of the buckets especially when you get warmer weather is that it can create a little bit more of a humid environment that bugs you know, actually prefer. So the nice thing is there'll be plenty of variation with this structure. And now I'm just checking to make sure everything is nice and clear. It is important to check on your strawberry plants every few days during the growing season because it's amazing how fast these strawberries will ripen. You can see here a couple of examples of the final product. All of the strawberries and stems are nice and elevated and ready to grow. I hope your strawberry harvest is awesome this year. 
If you found some value in this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future content like this. Thank you very much and have a great day. Take care.